if uh if we want to just get started yeah i just want, wanted to give an update and with uh you know with bob uh you know be, being out and not in, and not in chicago just felt like it would be good to get on the horn with uh you know with the meeting give the update on on fernando and his situation so we saw dr sheridan yesterday uh for his kind of three month follow-up uh and overall the exam was well you know went well uh his grip strength range of motion um you know a lot of the testing that they saw physically uh i think dr sharon was very pleased with and probably the you know on the on the imaging he did another mri uh scan uh which continues to show healing uh was not quite at the level for dr sheridan to give a full green light uh, so basically we're just going to be in a spot where we're going to progress week to week uh he'll continue to do a lot of the activity he's been doing on the field uh, we'll be able to do some other some other activity as well on the field, but the full go, start swinging the bat, playing in rehab games, that's going to be more of a week to week decision here going forward. So, um, you know, overall, I think Dr. Sharon felt like it was a very, uh, you know, it was, a, it was you know, there was a it was a positive exam, especially the way Fernando was showing in person with the strength, the range of motion, um, you know, some of the functionality of the wrist, and I think he likes where that that part of it is, um, you know. But again, I think we've said this from the beginning this is all about uh you know the long term and and a, and a long relationship for with fernando and his career we're going to be very cautious i think this probably falls more in, in line with that um you know and i think we'll uh we'll, we'll we'll continue to get good news and continue to progress as we go into the next couple of weeks and he's made a lot of progress here over the last uh, from the last time dr sheridan saw, saw him until yesterday and, and hopefully he continues going in that route over the course of the next uh the next few weeks and he's back on the field so that that's the update and yeah we'll end answer any uh any questions aj when do you expect that he would get his next imaging and once he does get that and starts to swing how long till a rehab yeah I, i'm not i'm not sure yet we left we left that you know that question yesterday i think uh you know honestly i think for us you know we've been you know it's kind of that balance i know we we, we talked about it i think the other day kevin it's like you know getting a test every, you know, every, 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 every week, you know, exactly what is that going to show? You have to listen to your doctors on, on what's the best way to handle that. Um, but I think, again, we're, we're kind of like going from, Hey, this is a, you know, month to month type deal, probably getting more into a week to week type deal and, and knowing exactly when the next MRI is. I think we all kind of agreed, Hey, like, let's see how the next few days progress. Let's talk about what other activities he can add to, uh, to the things he's been doing. And I think, uh, you know, I'll have more of a sense of that over the course of the next week. Hey, when the next time is we want to try to, to, to MRI it. And it's going to be based on the recommendation and really the opinion of the doctors at that point in time. AJ, what can you share with us about what hurdle Fernando needs to clear to be able to resume swinging about? Like, what is it specifically that, that needs to be healed or what bar does it need to reach? Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's like, you know, like any one specific type deal. I think that probably the one thing that, that uh, you know, I think, Again, like that, that Dr. Sheridan talked about is when he when he's him and the radiologists and the other the other doctors that are in our medical group that, that look at the uh, the MRI. Kind of the question about like exactly what should they be seeing from the MRI on that healing phase. I think that's probably like the the, the one thing that uh, for us I think we're you know at what level at what point does that get to a point you know, to a to a to a clearance level for the doctors, and they just weren't there yesterday. So you know I think that's. You know, I, I think a lot of times, you know, we'll get into the imaging and the imaging will will, will tell part of the story. And then the, the actual patient and the player tells another part of the story. I think we're, you know, I, I think for us, there was positives on both fronts. It just didn't get to the point from the imaging standpoint where Dr. Sheridan felt like, hey, this is full go, start playing in games and go from there. Um, you know, and I think that's that's kind of the conversation over the course of the next, you know, over the next few weeks as you know, what will that M MRI show? What should it show? And how important is that when he's when he's examining and testing out uh, well uh, in terms of making that decision? We just got to the point yesterday where we're like, we're just not ready to give full go green light to him. So, you know, we'll, we'll continue looking at all those factors. And, um, you know, when we get to that point, like I said, we're just being very conservative. When we get to that point where all of those are are, 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 are well across the board, then, then we'll give him the full green light to start, you know, start swinging a bat and playing the games. Have you have you spoken to Fernando and what's kind of his level of frustration at the at not being able to get out of that? Yeah, he was he was in good spirits, you know. I talked to him. I think again, he he wants to get back on the field and play. He loves he obviously loves playing. I think early in the process, though, I think he's he's you know again, I mean, he's showing maturity, and I think he's he understands that this is about what's best for him long term. And I know he feels good, and I know he feels like he can he can go out there and do this, but he's very mature and 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 hey, I'm going to trust what the doctor's saying, and I'm going to 
you know, understand that this is about, you know, not just the next week. This is about obviously the next four or five months, really the next, you know, uh, you know, 10 plus years in terms of a, of a career. And if that means, um, you know, if that means that we're going to have to take it, you know, like week to week here right now, he, he was he was very understanding of that. And I think uh, I think, you know, again, I think he's, he's, he's continues to grow in this process and understand it. And, um, you know, I know he's feeling good. He talked about that as well. And, and he's just anxious to get back on the field. Part of that too, maybe a little bit again. Like I think part of it is is each situation is a little bit different, you know, with with, with any individual and, and every 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 player and person's, you know, their story is is a little bit different in terms of the injury, the surgery, et cetera. You know, in my mind, I've always kind of been thinking, hey, three months is kind of the starting point, you know, and then and then anything, you know, sooner than that. I think a little bit of the history of Toddy is that, you know, he's had a few of these injuries and he, you know, he's he's kind of. Uh, you know, found a way to come back a little bit sooner. So I think maybe we're all we're all looking at that. You know, it's he's you know young younger athlete, great you know great athlete, and he's kind of shown that history of coming back sooner. But honestly, I think in a lot of our thoughts and you know, a lot of our our expectations, this was the kind of a starting point. And anything before that probably unrealistic. But let's leave it open and see how how he progresses, like he's done in some of these other situations. And, you know, at this point forward, it's like, all right, now, now it's kind of when we get into it. Hey, when can we, when can we expect him back? I don't want to get into like, Hey, he, he'll be back by the all-star break or he'll be back by this date because again, it's going to be like, you know, I think we're, we're going to get to a point where we're going to go week to week and kind of, and kind of go from there and progress at that point. It's going to be different, you know, but depending on what, how Dottie's presenting, how the MRI show, and then also just what the, what the doctors, you know, what, what their take is on where he's at from a, from a health standpoint, and we'll put all that together and, and, and put plans together weekly. AJ, I think back in March, AJ, can you hear me okay? I can hear you now, go ahead. I think back in March, you, you, you said you anticipated up to a three month recovery um, after the surgery. Uh, by that, did you mean three months until that bone is healed and he could start swinging? Or at that point, did you mean three months until he could come back from the IL? Yeah, I think it's, it's honestly like, I'm obviously, like for me, I'm going off of what our doctors and medical team are telling us. So I think, you know, at, at the point early in the year, I think the three month mark in my mind was kind of like to, to, to get to the point where he's going to be able to start swinging a bat and, and, and start really progressing baseball wise. And there'll be you know limited restrictions on him. And then kind of like, hey, does that determine, hey, it's a week rehab, it's a two week rehab, it's a month of rehab. You know, not really like, you know, I, I think we, we would have determined that as we got to that point in time. So. Uh, and again, like I said, like there was there was conversation with our doctors. Hey, if he's showing incredible healing, then we'll you know we'll, we'll have that conversation at that time. Could it be sooner than that? So, in my mind, you know, back then, even now, I've I've always kind of been like, hey, you know, it'll be a mid June kind of decision point on where he's at. And you know, I don't think anything. Again, like the biggest takeaway for me is like nothing's really changed. You know, it's not like hey, at the end of the day, like you know, even if it, even if somebody said, hey, he could come back in you know, and play in a game in three months, I kind of take that with, you know, ultimately like that's, that's somebody's opinion. And, and, you know, from our standpoint, I just known that this is an obviously very important to our organization, to Toddy, you know, to everybody that we're going to be conservative. And I think uh, nothing's really changed from that standpoint for us. And if I can follow up with one more, what's your level of confidence? I know this is a bit off my distance. So he starts doing full baseball activity, but what's your level of confidence in the shoulder this year? And whenever he does get to, Full activity that it won't be uh, the same thing as last year. Yeah, I, I think that's you know he's he's shown really even like you know like learning about the shoulder, like what we what we knew about his off season, the end of last season, and then into this process, it's given him Scott Hacker, our medical group, a chance for him to really focus on the shoulder and like the different exercises. I know like he was testing out like very very strong from a shoulder standpoint. Um, again, that doesn't, doesn't, you know, it doesn't rule out. It's, you know, it's an injury you know, po type possibility. So, you know, you can get hurt doing anything, but I know he'll have opportunity now to, uh, to, 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 you know, to, to come back and put himself in as good a position possible with the shoulder. And, you know, I think he, he you know, unfortunately he's, he's, you know, he understands like what the preventative por portion of that is and he's good at that program. And, you know, hopefully we don't have an issue with the shoulder here when he comes back. Hey, Jay, obviously that's a pretty significant piece of your offense without him now for, However long, does that change anything in terms of what you might be looking for going forward? And what do you make of kind of what the offense has been able to do without him in the lineup for two and a half months? Yeah, not not really, honestly. I mean, I think like, I think, you know, all along in terms of, you know, looking to get Toddy back and, and looking to get Fernando back in the lineup. I think that's, uh, 
you know, I think we're, we're expecting to have him back. It's just a matter of when. Um, so I don't think it really changes our, like, hey, we need to do something from a, from a roster standpoint. I think the guys have, you know, they've, they've played well. And, you know, I think in general, you know, finding a lot of ways to win games and it's given other guys more opportunity. I think still have that mentality of having people and players step up. And, you know, in terms of like a, a need or a want list or anything like that, I think you know, we expect Hadi to be back here. It's just a matter of it at what point in time. I don't think it's going to change much like what we what we feel like we need to uh, to, to go acquire at this point in time.